It's 10 to 4 on Talk Radio. Now, MI5 warned an agent of the Chinese government has been active in the British Parliament. MPs have been hearing in the Commons from Sir Ian Duncan Smith. Mr Speaker has been contacted by MI5 and is now warning members of Parliament that there has been a, an agent of the Chinese government active here in Parliament working with another, with a member of Parliament, obviously to subvert the processes here. I say, as a member of Parliament who is sanctioned by the Chinese government, as others, that this is a matter of grave concern. Let's speak with Ian Duncan-Smith, former leader of the Conservative Party, of course, and Conservative MP. Ian, good afternoon to you. Sorry to make you listen to yourself just before you no, come right. on there, but um, not for the first time, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> just, just put some meat on the bones of this, if you would, for us. I mean, this seems a, a, an extraordinary and rather troubling revelation we're hearing today. Well, I think it's serious. It's very serious. Whatever way you cut this, here is a uh, an agent of a foreign power, but not just a foreign power. This is China. This is a power that is guilty of genocide, of brutal slave labor, uh, of uh, forced sterilization of women, re-education of children that they don't want to speak their own language, uh, threats to Taiwan, uh, you know, taking over the South China Seas, smashing churches up, all this sort of stuff. This is a brutal regime. And here we have an agent of that regime in Parliament for some time uh, with money coming in to support that individual and to support an MP, who knows how many others either. We know that now this individual has donated money to the Labour Party, uh, has got access to um, a Conservative Prime Minister. Uh, we've seen a picture of it, uh, received an award from another Prime Minister, um, all in this time. In fact, that award came as late as 2019. So I do question what has been going on here. We should have known about this before. I mean, I think the sums of money coming into that MP's office, I'm mm. told to do with the all-party parliamentary group and also individuals, et cetera, was, you know, could be over £600,000. I mean, this wow. is serious. And it's Indeed. and I'm a sanctioned member of parliament. An, an uh, MP has know. been named in this, Ian Duncan Smith. Is this an area that we can't pursue right now, or is this... Uh, no, 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 I think his name is in the public domain. It, we're talking about um, Barry Gardner, the Labour MP. Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, so, so what, have we heard anything from Mr Gardner on this? Well, I gather he's put a statement out. I haven't seen it myself. I mean, I know him. I'm not accusing him of anything. Uh, but it's it's a real concern to me that this individual who has now been kicked out of Parliament was working up until today, I think, in Parliament. Oh. And my worry is that the security service say they've been looking at this and they've now decided they're an agent of the state. But I must say that has taken some considerable time. We're talking about funds, by the way, being funneled in by a sort of dodgy connections through to sort of clean them up through Hong Kong, but they are definitely, clearly, from the Chinese government. And so um, this is a concern to us. And I keep saying to everybody, the problem right now, it seems to me, is we haven't been taking the threat from China seriously enough. This is a, as I said earlier on, a brutal regime that believes, ultimately, uh, that they, their form of government, their way of government, is the right form, uh, you know, communist, yeah. uh, dictatorial and brutal. Um, and, you know, we, we, we need to be saying that you can't, you can't uh, treat them as a normal government uh, and then put them on a low risk and then yeah. end up with this sort of situation taking place. We need to recognise they pose what I would call a clear and present danger. The statement that Mr Gardner put out does say that he's been in contact with MI5. Um, Mr Gardner said he'd been in contact with MI5, uh, said for a number of years uh, about Christine Lee, and they'd always known and been made fully aware by me of her engagement with my office and the donations she'd made to fund research in my of uh, researchers in my office in the past. So Mr Gardner appears to be saying that her appointment of this particular person was legitimate, despite the revelations that we hear today. Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? How is it that MI5 have reached the conclusion that she is an agent of a foreign government? Yes. Um, so I'm a bit concerned. That's why I make no allegations at all, other than to say we need to know the whole story. We need to know if that is the case, why was MI5 content to see this individual? Uh, uh, and uh, I think um, his mother, <coughs> uh, who was the person finding the donations, uh, and they believed you know, back in 2017, I think it was, the Times ran a front page story saying that uh, she was under suspicion. So 
how can it be from 2017 at least even till today yeah. that no action has been taken and uh, if he says they were content i want to know why were the security service content for as i say nearly we're told anything between five yeah. and six hundred thousand pounds and it would be extraordinary that you would have an on as a as a backbench mp that you would have an ongoing dialogue with mi5 on 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 your the employment status of, of people that work in your office that in itself is rather bizarre well if you are concerned about their security i mean let me take my situation and those of my other colleagues who have been sanctioned like i have in parliament can you explain that um, Ian, what you mean by sanctioned well, the Chinese government uh, uh, sanctioned us because we had been speaking out. And uh, I'm a member of the Interparliamentary Alliance on China. I'm a co-chair. It's got 24 nations in it now, from Japan to America, all countries that are worried about the uh, growing uh, nature of Chinese threats. And uh, we have uh, unearthed a lot of documentation, and we've been able to point the finger at China over the Uyghur uh, genocide that's yep. taking place at the moment. And we've so infuriated them that they've sanctioned a number of us. Now, that means we can't hold any investments in China. We certainly can't set foot in China. And it does also mean that China could, if we went to a country that had extradition arrangements with them, they could do what's called an Interpol red notice on us, which meant that we right. would then be arrested uh, pending extradition arrangements. So um, all of that, plus my family, uh, are, are sanctioned. So so this is a, a threat to freedom of speech. But here I am. I mean, we've been working trying to help those uh, people who have been uh, democracy campaigners in Hong Kong, who are now being arrested, put in jail for long periods of time, uh, all because the only thing they did was to ask for freedom of speech and sure. uh, being able to elect their, their, their legislative authority. They've been fleeing, many of them, uh, Hong Kong, coming to the UK now. Many of us with IPAC deal with these people, so we've got names and details. My worry is, through all this period, and they give any consideration to their ability to walk around. I mean, I don't always lock this door here when I'm in and out of it, uh, nor do many of my colleagues. Of you know, um, So anyone could have got access to our offices at some point and may well have found out names yeah. and details. That's what really, so this is life and death. It's not just Absolutely. About my concerns for myself. It's life and death for others. We will, uh, we will watch with interest, and we, we may even speak again on this, Ian. Thank you for your time this afternoon. Sir Ian Duncan-Smith, former leader of the Conservative Party, current Conservative MP, a man who is sanctioned by China along with others on that incredibly serious, very troubling revelation uh, that an MP had somebody who was employed by the Chinese state working in their office. We did ask Barry Gardner if he wanted to res uh, to respond on the programme. We have yet to hear back at the moment.